Thanks to Torah Books for sponsoring this episode of Nerdist News. Is Will Byers the secret villain of Stranger Things Season 2? The Curiosity Door is open at Hall H. The cast and crew of Stranger Things showed up at Comic-Con with an all-new trailer for Season 2, and it was a straight-up thriller, and not just because it's scored by Michael Jackson's spookiest song. The three-minute spot sends us hurtling back into the upside-down world of Hawkins, Illinois, with a montage of monsterific moments that will have us all watching the TV through our fingers when the new season drops this October. But despite all the creepy creatures and oozing slime, we're starting to think that the real villain of the upcoming episodes will be someone a little more familiar. Not something from the Upside Down per se, but someone who has spent a lot of time there. That's right, we're betting that Will Byers is Stranger Things' secret big bad, and he may get a permanent dismissal from the Hawkins AV Club before the season is over. Now to be fair to the already severely traumatized Byers boy, we don't think he'll intentionally be trying to destroy everyone he knows and loves, but he will unwittingly be dragging them towards their doom with his connection to the Upside Down, which we saw at the end of season one when he got all bug barfy in the family bathroom, gets stronger and stronger. We see it right from the top when Will doesn't just get a vision of the giant monster in the sky, it actually talks to him. Holy crap, Will Byers and the monsters from the Upside Down are on a first name basis. That does not bode well for everyone else on the show. He even seems to acknowledge that later in the trailer when he says it doesn't want him, it wants everyone else. But why wouldn't it want him? Well, probably because whatever it is, it already has him. And now it's using him as a worm on an otherworldly hook. And once it snags his friends and family, it's going to reel them in. The cast even hinted at this in an interview with Nerdist's own Alicia Lutz. Which character do you think will surprise people the most this season? You get to see a lot more of, yeah. Um, yeah, Will this season, and he's, he is a talented little dude. Yeah, um, so yeah, very excited to see him, his stuff. So this season is gonna be hard on him. Yeah, we bet turning your loved ones into monster chow would be pretty hard on a kid. And come to think of it, that makes the use of Thriller even more meaningful. If you've ever watched VH1 in the month of October, you know that classic video ends with Michael Jackson revealing that he was a secret werewolf all along. And just like the King of Pop's sudden but inevitable betrayal, we believe Will Byers will eventually deliver a similarly shocking twist. Of course, that doesn't mean Will is the only threat coming in season two. Whatever is happening is spreading from this place. Ooh. So the Upside Down is spreading, and it looks like Sheriff Hopper is trying to figure out where exactly it's spreading from. And from this trailer, we're betting his search is going to lead him straight back to school. The first door to the Upside Down opened when one of eleven psychic experiments went awry, and the kids all recreated that same experiment in their school gym at the end of Season 1. So it stands to reason that a similar door would open there. The only difference? There's not an entire team of government scientists there to kill, or at least try to kill, everything that crawls out of it. This would explain why we see so much of the school in the trailer, including a shot where Eleven pushes back out into our world, and another where a tidal wave of black goo chases Will down the hallway. But what do you folks think? Is Will Byers really going full bad guy? Are you upset we didn't see more hashtag justice for Barb? Nope. And what else is going down in Hawkins this season? Let's discuss. And thank you to Tora Books for sponsoring Nerdist News. Tora Books is a treasure trove for the sci-fi fantasy reader and the home of some incredible sci-fi and fantasy authors like Annalee Newitz and Charlie Jane Anders. Kyle Hill has got an amazing interview with the two of them where Annalee tells us all about her new book, Autonomous, where she tackles robot rights as well as Charlie's new book, All Birds in the Sky. Check it out over on Nerdist.com.